sort of irony that nowadays we are celebrating 100 years uh, of uh, 8th of March. We have um, real some rights that, that women gain, obviously, in all, almost all over the world. I mean, with some, some uh, countries that are not really part of this, but somehow uh, women gain really rights for vote, uh, right for participation. Uh, Participation in political life, blah blah blah, all these formal rights. I mean, if you if you if you look in, I can say for Croatia, but I'm sure this is even be better in, in Slovenia and similar all over the world. It's sort of paradox. In the last two, three, four years, we got incredible amount of excellent laws that are I would call it protection of women. So with all rights, formally looking, there's no problem. But the main uh, relations remain the same. I mean, the same oppre uh, oppression, the same uh, discrimination, the same thing. So somehow the whole point seems to me that although we have mushrooming of feminism, I, even I don't know if we all we are sitting here, we, if we could count how many feminism, different feminism we have: mainstream feminism, eco-feminism, anarcho-feminism, feminism, feminism, so many feminisms, and everyone is so busy with feminism, with all these specific things, and nothing is happening really on the, in, on, on the level of politics. I mean, this first discussion, this, this woman, she, she somehow says, but feminism is politics. It's not. I mean, really, it, we have to be very much precise what we think what politics is. In my humble opinion, if we won't go back to, to, to really to see where really uh, uh, discrimination and inequality, not only gender inequality, but all, all kinds of inequality, where this is ge uh, uh, where, where that generates, and what are, what are circumstances, and uh, how this is maintained, and this is about politics. And, this, and then we are stepped away from, from feminism in, in a narrow sense, in the core of, of politics.